So then we got Jimmy Vollmer's best moments part one. Y'all ready? Let's get it. Hey, bros, what's going on? This is Cotton Mama. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because subscribing makes you feel good. And now, <laughs> as a very special treat. Hold on, bro. One more time. One more time. I kind of I kind of like that, man. I might have to I might have to clip that and use that as an intro. Hey, bros, what's going on? This is Cotton Mama. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because subscribing makes you feel good. And now, as a very <laughs> special treat, our very special friend Jimmy Hold on, is going pause, to... Hold on, pause, bro. Pause. I don't think... I don't think... All right. So I don't know what this dude's position is. You know what I'm saying? But this looks like some some Boy Scout or or some sort of like uh, summer camp. Whatever this is, I don't think dude's nipple being out there should be a thing, bro. Like... Especially around the kids. You feel me? This is this is wild, bro. This is wild. And now, as a very special treat, our very special friend Jimmy is going to do what he loves most. Motivational stand-up comedy. Let's give him a big hand. Wow, what a great audience. Well, just in case you were wondering, I do have a disability. I am totally happy with the way I was born very much. I travel to different states and talk to kids about being proud of what they are. My mom says God has a plan for everyone. I guess I was plan B. <laughs> oh my god. Well, hello, Eric. I was really glad you called me very much. Jimmy, thank God, get in here. What's this all about? Jimmy, you've always been my favorite stand up comic. You gotta help me. I've lost my sense of humor. Gee, that's a stand up comic? I like that. I like that. Because he can't stand. <laughs> Jimmy, you've always been my favorite stand up comic. You gotta help me. I've lost my sense of humor. Gee, that's a terrible thing, Eric. Comedy can be the best therapy very much. I just had to find my funny bone again. Just try and make me laugh. Oh, I don't think that'll be hard. I've been working on my routine. Okay, let me have it. Okay, try this one on for thoughts. Why did the pigeon cross the road? Okay, why? Because it was having sex with the ch- Because it was having sex with the ch- <laughs> Because it was having sex with the ch- <laughs> It was having sex with the ch chicken. No, Yo. see, something's wrong. I'm not laughing. See, fellas, <laughs> thanks a lot for going to my comedy show. We didn't go to your comedy show. I know that. I was being for thesis. Well, dude, Christopher Reeve, dude. Ooh, Christopher Reeve. Whoop the freaking do. Dude, that's not cool. You should make fun of Christopher Reeve. Yeah, dude, not cool. Jimmy! Hey, Jimmy, wait up! Dude, I need your advice on something. Well, sure, Eric. What seems to be the problem? Well, everybody likes you, Jimmy, and you seem to be really good with people. So I was wondering if you could tell me, how do you act nice to people? Well, the best thing is not to act nice, Eric. The best thing is to be genuinely nice. Okay, so how do you act genuinely nice to people? Well, Eric, p part of being nice is just making people smile and live. Yo, part of being nice is not acting, bro. Just be kind to others. The best way to do that is by telling a fantastic joke or a humorous anecdote. Anecdote. Like what? Yo, my man's just taking steroids? Jimmy? Hang on, I, I'm coming. You guys like impersonations? What kind of steroids, bro? Like, like to get buff? You know what I'm saying? Yo, that's... All right, I guess we'll find out, bro, because you know how these clips are. They, they, they let the story unfold clips at a time, you feel me? How about Jimmy Stewart? Merry Christmas, Movie House, and John Travolta. Oh my God, Mr. Carter. Mr. Carter, oh, oh my God, Mr. Carter. <laughs> Jimmy's funny, dude. Yeah, well, he's the coolest kid with disabilities in the world. Well, hello, everybody. I'm Jim Swanson, and this is my friend, Timmy. Timmy! Timmy! Bro, y'all in the hood. Well, let us tell you a little bit about ourselves. Timmy and I are both true Crips, born and raised. We're the only Crips in South Park. He said, Timmy and I are... <laughs> I don't think it's that type of Crips, bro. You in the wrong hood, homie. Let us tell you a little bit about ourselves. Timmy and I are both true Crips, born and raised. We're the only Crips in South Park where born we live. And, raised. and we would love to join your fa fa fantastic Denver chapter. Don't tell me they beat him up. Is they for real, man? Well, like try this one off the zone. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Igmar Bergman. 
Now you say, Igmar Bergman, who? Uh, take that, Jimmy! Oh, take my that. God! And don't you ever talk bad about Kyle again! Kyle is my friend! And if you say you had sex with his mom one more time, Yo! I'm gonna really let you have it! You hear me? Oh, Kyle, hey. You really think that beating up a handicapped kid is being nice? Right! Yeah, but you're right! Bro! Son, what? That came out of nowhere, too. I wasn't expecting that. But Bigman, who? Uh, take that, Jimmy! And that! And don't you ever- Yo, he punched the crap out of him. He knocked him out! Talk bad about Kyle again! Kyle is my friend! And if you say you had sex with his mom one more time, I'm gonna really let you have it. You hear me? Dang! Oh, hey. You really think that beating up a handicapped kid is being nice? Yeah, but your father. <laughs> you can't come in. Give me a goddamn ticket. I was about to say, bro, he didn't toss a needle. Jimmy, were you masturbating? No, Dad. Okay, well, you have a visitor. Hi, Jimmy. Oh, hi, Nancy. I was hoping we could study for the spelling test tomorrow. Oh, sure thing. Come on in. I didn't know you had a girlfriend, Jim. Yeah, Dad, we've been going out since we met in free period last week. I'll leave you two alone. You sure you weren't masturbating, Jim? It's okay if you were. Dad, Why you? Jesus Christ. In front of her? Why are you asking, bro? Jimmy, we're going to have everyone write in a mascot that's really funny, and you have to tell us which one would be funnier. That's a fantastic idea, Phyllis. The key to successful humor is staying power. Tell me the first mascot idea. A giant douche. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. <laughs> now, what's the second? A turd sandwich. <laughs> okay, okay, now let's wait ten seconds. And now for your entertainment, our new best friend, stand-up comic, Jimmy! Wow, what a great audience. I just flew into South Park. Boy, are my crutches tired. <laughs> what a terrific audience. You know, people sometimes ask me, are you angry at God for making disabled people? I say, no, I think the world is better with P President Bush. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, that was good. Hey, you kids. Well, hello, officers. Yo, they got accepted? Yo, what? They got accepted into the gang? Let's get it. What the hell do you think you're doing? We're going to pop some punk ass for blood. Damn it! Damn it! You guys, those commercials are just exaggerations. How do you know? None of us have ever had any drugs before. Well, I did ecstasy once. Me and my girlfriend took it, and we stayed up all night having sex. Yo, he's Where did you have sex with hard. In her vagina. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. What a terrific audience. Just ignore him. Maybe he'll go away. Hey, fellas, mind if we take a little rest? There is no time for rest, sir, sir. Keep up. Yo, his costume makes him look like he's, uh, like he's flying, bro. They are coming. You guys go on ahead. Jimmy, are you sure? No! Yeah. Light the Christmas tree is a very special young man who shows us all the true meaning of Christmas. Jimmy. Yeah. Wow, what a terrific audience. Thank you for giving me this great honor, Mayor. But before I light the tree, I was wondering if I could sing my favorite Christmas song real quick. Oh. Well, we'd love a Christmas song, wouldn't we, folks? Christmas songs! Christmas songs! I sure have met a lot of interesting people here in South Park. H how about that Eric Cartman kid, huh? God damn it! God, no kidding, that's my pie pie! God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Look, Timmy, there's a convenience store. That must be what the fellas meant by pop some punk ass bliss. They wanted to get them some soda pop and treats. Ah, oh, Timmy! Bro, it's a setup! No! <laughs> Let's buy them ginger ale and marshmallows. Then they'll let us in the club for sure. You shall not. Yo, that's a terrible setup, you bro. You shall not. You shall not. Just say it, bro. You shall not. No! You shall not pay. How about that? Bro! That was a full blown stampede right there. Oh my god, the homie got destroyed. Doug's a bad. Doug's a bad, okay? That's a cool counter.
Right, here we go. You shall not pass. How about that, you cool counselor? Jug your bed. Jug your bed, okay? Jug your bed, okay? Okay? Wow, what a great audience. Mr. Hat, be quiet, Mr. Hat. Mr. Hello there, children, Mr. Hat. Hello, Mr. Hat. I'm making salt very stick for this. Salt very stick for this. God damn it, God damn it. All right, here it goes. On the first day of... Great, my <laughs> true, true love. Yeah. Yeah. Stop, yeah. yo! Somebody take the mic away, bro. This is bad. Me a pair, a pair, Oh no! Jimmy, hey Stan. Jimmy, will you go talk to Wendy for me? For, for, for what? Just go talk to her and, and be poetic. Tell her she's my muse. No, tell her. Tell her she's a continuing source of inspiration to me. She's what? She's a continuing source of inspiration to me. Okay. Oh shit! <laughs> s s s s Sunday driver. So I said to him, "Hey, I, I may be hit." And they're gonna go back. You know what I'm saying to to the Crips. And they're gonna look like legitimate gangsters. They're gonna think that that they did that. You know what I'm saying? And they're not gonna know anything about the truck. You can't. But but I'm not dead. <laughs> wow, what I missed it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. S -s 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 Sunday driver. So I said to him, "Hey, I, I may be handicapped, but but I'm not dead." <laughs> wow, what a terrific audience. Well, for my next joke, I'm gonna need a volunteer from the audience very much. How about you, Timmy? <laughs> Sure, come on up here, Tim Tim. <laughs> come on, push it. Push it. Damn, it worked? Yeah, nice picks. Sweet budget. Jimmy, I thought we were meeting at the donut shop. That's the games crazy. are in two days, Nancy. I can't be wasting my time. I guess I didn't realize I was a waste of time. Oh, Jesus, you're going to start running your math up again? Oh, damn. P push it. P push it. Jimmy, everyone's worried about you. You seem different. They're all just jealous. You're not the boy I fell in love with last week during free period. I'm leaving you. <laughs> wow, what a great audience. She fell in oh, love with him in a week, bro. What you mean, son? During free period. I'm leaving you. Wow, what a great audience. How about this classic? Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Orange you glad I didn't say... 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 Banana? No, that didn't work either. <laughs> wow, what a great audience. Knock, knock. Who's there? An interrupting cow. An interrupting cow. No. <laughs> what a terrific audience. Oh, man. Hey, w hey, Wendy. Yeah? Stan says you're a cunt. You're a cunt. Stan says you're a cunt. Cunt. Well, tell Stan cunt. to fuck up. You're a continuing source oh, of inspiration to Oh, my God. He always finishes the phrase that he wants to say a little bit too late. You know what I'm saying? When the when the when the the mob of bikers, you know what I'm saying, were coming down the street, he was telling them they can't pass, but he couldn't get the words out. Then they all like ran him over. You know what I'm saying? And after they ran him over, he was able to say it. And now he just made Stan look terrible. Oh man. You're just <laughs> This guy sucks, bro. Wow. Well, she just walked away, Stan. You're gonna have to face facts. It's over. Hey. Hey, I don't want no trouble. Hello. We'd like two orders of Kung Pao chicken, please. I don't want no trouble. You just take what you want and leave. Tommy! Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I don't think that's it. Tommy! Oh, and one medium lemonade, please. Here, you one hundred twelve dollars. You Timmy right. punked you him. Huh? You take one hundred twelve dollars. Yes, Walmart is the leading employer. That's of crazy. And they also employ the handicapped. Hello, Mrs. Mersh. Can I help? Can I help you get a sh shopping cart today? Well, yes, I'd love one, Jimmy. How's he gonna push it? <laughs> Yo, help him! Jimmy, ladies and gentlemen. Let's all give him a hand oh very much. Oh my 
Come to think of it, give him a pair of legs, too. <laughs> Here, Timmy, put on this silly hat. Just for a second, Timmy. Don't be a jerk, Timmy. Hey, don't push me. Come on. Oh. Cripple fight. Yeah. He's a cripple fight. <laughs> okay, now, oh, tell me the first man. one again. Giant douche. <laughs> and the second? Turd sandwich. <laughs> Jeez, they're both screamingly funny, Phyllis. Better give it another ten seconds. Hello, please! I've just been robbed by two gang members! Uh, are you sure? I don't right. want no trouble! Right. Just take it and leave! You said well, geez, sure? that's really nice of you, Mr. Chinese person. Look, Tim Tim, we got a cash prize. We must be the 100th customer or something. Here, here, two on a compound chicken and small iced tea. Actually, it was a regular lemonade. Ah, I die! I die! I don't want no trouble! Here, lemonade. Now go, just go! Gee, thanks a lot! See you next time. Damn it. Bro, it's how you get robbed by You're two not cripples, me. You bro. Try like... to me and I'll kill you, bitch. You can't treat people like this. You're not leaving me. You try to leave me and I'll kill you, bitch. You can't treat people like this. I said, uh, shut your mouth, uh, bitch. Uh, uh, Yo! Uh, 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 uh. You're not leaving it. Why is he beating her with the with the crutches, bro? Anybody, you just keep your goddamn mouth shut and do it. Jimmy, what's the? Jimmy, oh my god! Stay away from me! Oh my god! Bitch. His mom too? Yeah, yeah! <laughs> All right, now we'll see which one really has staying power. Dude, that's Number crazy. One, a giant douche. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. N Number two, turd sandwich. <laughs> Jeez, I don't know what to tell you, fellas. They're both instant classics. But I guess I'll have to go with Giant Douche. Simply because the fact that it is a giant renders it useless, adding a parody slant to the satire. Ah!